Welcome to Digital Asset News, to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, a lot of stuff to go over. Let's break right in. So first up, Wall Street veteran says many people will turn to Bitcoin after Labor Day. This is a very interesting story because the gentleman who's going to speak, first of all, has a wealth of information on the traditional stock market, but also it's because he was against Bitcoin and now it looks like he's converted. So as time goes on, it looks like this is going to happen more and more. Also, Warren Buffett will buy Bitcoin soon, says Morgan Creek's Jason Williams. This is a piggyback on another article which talks about how Warren Buffett is getting out of the stock market in some way, shape or form and getting his investments into gold. Also, Kraken is going to list Polkadot this week. And lastly, we'll go over question of the day, which is uphold and their 65 day asset hold policy. So if we're getting that, let's take a look at what's going on with the market. So I got to tell you on the weekend, usually we see dips, but uh, not this one. looks like it's doing pretty good. I thought Bitcoin was going to hit 12,000, uh, but here we are sitting at just below 11.9 and it's down by 0.3%. But again, uh, Bitcoin has done a tremendous rally as a lot of other uh, altcoins have as well. So Ethereum looking pretty sharp, 431. XRP, 29 cents. Watch out. Ugh. Tether, a dollar. Chainlink is at a solid 19, so pretty good. And again, I uh, <clears throat> thought it actually would hit 20, but uh, here we are at 19. Still pretty happy about that. Bitcoin Cash, 304. Cardano uh, up point or down 0.7. Bitcoin SV, still in the top 10. Don't understand. Litecoin, uh, I can see that, 2.9%. Uh, Binance Coin, Tezos, uh, up 3.9, 4.2. Tron, congratulations to all you Tron holders. I used to hold Tron uh, a while ago in 2017, 2018. Got rid of it. Didn't really see the whole point. But uh, if you've been holding this whole time, hey, tip of the hat. Good job to you. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, not too many uh, huge historical moves. Ave, as far as DeFi, going up 10%, 10 so that's pretty good. And uh, BAT, for some reason, basic attention token. Wow, 14.5%. And OMG is right for OMG Network. 56%. Nice little pump going on there. So let's break into today's top story. So first up, Wall Street veterans says many people will turn to Bitcoin and he gives a specific day uh, after Labor Day. It's pretty amazing. But it's not just what he says here. Really what he's saying is if they're going to do that uh, after Labor Day, which is in September, uh, you need to start making your moves now. So what's going on here? So Wall Street veteran George Ball a former crypto skeptic explained why he believes that many wealthy investors and traders will be looking at Bitcoin after Labor Day. And look, we just saw one of the um, most famous, wealthiest investors, Warren Buffett, say he's going to get into gold, which he has never done before. Him and his partner, Charlie Munger, never done that before. And here they are. So if they're talking about gold, what do you think is going to happen with the rest of the stock market? But we'll get into that in a bit. George Ball currently serves as chairman and CEO of Sanders Morris Harris, which is a privately owned, duly registered broker dealer and RIA firm established in 87. He started his career as a stockbroker. E.F. Hutton uh, was president uh, between, look at this, 1977 and 82. He left Hutton in July, became the CEO of Prudential Box Securities, later, later renamed to Prudential Securities. So this guy uh, has been around the block, we'll just say. Moving down, Kitayama was the interviewer, and he started the inter interview by asking Ball why he thinks that now is the time for people to take a look at their portfolios and potentially make some adjustments. And he talks about the summer doldrums and how things are going, but this is what was interesting. He says, COVID will be with us through the first quarter of the next year, and then there will be a vaccine. As if he just knows it, like, oh, it's going to be, you know, the, the first quarter. He states the market's waiting for a new spark, and that spark's likely to come in, into ignition, as it often does, right after Labor Day. So the time to reposition the portfolio is before everything blows up, which is right now. So if you are in this space, uh, you've seen um, exponential growth over the last two, three weeks. Um, I got to tell you, this would have been the time to really uh, invest. Actually, it wasn't this time. It was in March when everything went down the tubes. That was the time to get in, was before. But I still see a, a, a tremendous amount of growth or there's a lot of upswing coming uh, this way. Anyhow, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, Kariyama then asked Ball, what assets other than equities people should be let looking at and ball said before i read it i just want you to hear it from the horse's mouth so this is what ball actually said in the interview well george what assets should investors get into say outside of equities i've never said this before and i've always been a a blockchain cryptocurrency bitcoin opponent uh but if you look right now the government can't stimulate the markets forever the liquidity flood will end, um, and sooner or later, the government's got to start paying for it. So 
some of the stimulus for some of the deficits for some of the, the well-deserved, very smart subsidies that it's providing to people. Are they going to raise taxes that high? Or if not, are they going to print money? If they print money, uh, that debases the currency. And probably even things like TIPS, Treasury Inflation Protected Securities, can be corrupted. So the very wealthy investor or the trader uh, probably turns to Bitcoin or something like it uh, as a staple. Wow, I never thought I'd hear you say that. I mean, we heard Jamie Dimon talk about Bitcoin before. And yeah, that's that's it. So and it's pretty interesting uh, when he talks about it because there's some people who believe in the uh, modern monetary theory, which or MMT, where you can just you know have helicopter money and it doesn't really matter, but it matters. I mean, in some way, shape, or form, it's going to matter. There is no free lunch, and I think at some point taxes are going to be raised. There is going to be, uh, I mean, even they could still actually print more money, but at some point you have to pay the piper. And I think what these investors are looking at, especially somebody like Warren Buffett, is like, hey, uh, I don't know what's going to happen later on down down the road, but there's only so much liquidity we can inject into the stock market before people are like, what the heck is going on? Maybe that is a bubble, and they're going to look for safe haven assets. And I think Bitcoin is one of those. So. I got to tell you, in my opinion, new savings account for this world is gold, silver, and Bitcoin. But uh, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But before we move on, let me say this. I had always said that I believe that Bitcoin would do, or digital assets and cryptocurrencies in general, will do very well as long or for an extended period of time, uh, they would reach new highs if the economy still stayed in a downturn, if there was different problems with um, this pandemic, if different things, because people would rush to it. But now, with what Ball was talking about here, I can see how it doesn't really matter now. It doesn't matter because everything has been set in motion uh, months and really, if you think about it, even years ago. All the different things that are going on right now are economic policies that are going to, uh, in some way, for, uh, fail. And it's going to lead us into what Bitcoin can actually do, which is a which is not a any kind of soft money. It is a hard asset. It is deflationary. And it can do a lot of different things that uh, the economic policy here for not just the United States, but globally uh, can't fix. But again, uh, only time will tell. Let's move on to the next article. Warren Buffett.